Hey everybody, it's Carmel here. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all well. How's everybody doing? How is January going for everybody? Can you believe we're halfway through January already? Almost. It's crazy. It looks like it's going to be another flyer of a year at the rate we're going anyway, doesn't it? Crazy. I'm actually not doing so great today myself. <laughs> we won't get into that just now. Maybe more on that later on. But what I do have right now is an Amazon haul to share with you. And I, I'm excited about this one because I, I don't usually shop on Amazon. I don't buy a lot, very rarely buy anything on Amazon. But I got a voucher as a Christmas gift. So I had a bit of a ball when I was browsing and looking for stuff to, to add to my car. So that was fun. So the first thing I have to share is this needle felting kit. And I love this. It's doggies, of course, so I'm all over it. <laughs> but um, I love needle felting. And I haven't done it in a while. I haven't done needle felting since uh, I started my channel. If you look at the banner on my channel, there's uh, Bruce, the great white shark from Jaws. He was the last, that was the last needle felted piece I did. I love this one. This one, I spotted this a, a long time ago on Amazon and it's, I, I never got it. I just had it on my, my wish list. But when I got the voucher, then I picked it up. But you get everything you need to make four doggies. And the, the, I don't think there's a picture of the all. No, the, the, there isn't a picture to show you of the, all four of them together. But there's this guy here who's a palm. And then there's a collie, there's a pug, and uh, this one looks like he's a beagle of sorts or some kind of terrier maybe. But uh, no, I think he's a beagle, but just super cute. This was a very inexpensive kit uh, too for, for everything that's in it. You know, you get quite a bit in it. You get your, there's a little pack in there with your eyes and your little extra pieces. And you get enough to make four doggies and you get this lovely leather pouch for the felting needles and your foam as well. I haven't actually tried it out yet. But uh, the only thing I would say so far um, about that's not so great about it is that the instructions are not fantastic. So like, I, I've done a lot of needle felting, so I kind of know my way around a needle felting kit. But if you're a beginner, this would not be ideal because you're, you're not going to those instructions are, are not detailed enough to help you to create a different a decent finished piece but to start off with if you wanted to go for something like that there's lots of needle felting tutorials and stuff online but it is a lovely kit and i can't wait to make those doggies so it's so cute so the next thing i have is this fun little kit here and i know it doesn't look too fun here but this is the sleeve and i can't show you the front because it actually came like this in the sleeve there was no other packaging my so my address label is on the front cover which is just weird for amazon there was no packaging whatsoever with it so that was a bit bizarre it's a pixel kit and i'll just show you inside what it looks like and it looks so much fun i love diamond painting and i have tons of diamond painting started and completed and not started so i didn't buy any more diamond painting kits but this i haven't done anything like this it's it's like diamond painting but it's not diamond painting it's it's a pixel kit so your completed piece is actually pixelated like this and it's a really nice kit it comes you get a little frame and everything but instead of drills if you're familiar with diamond painting you'll know that you get a canvas and it's sticky and you just apply your drills to the sticky canvas but this is the canvas here and it's not sticky instead it's uh it's kind of it's thick and you have these little pokey spikes that stick out and these are the the drills i suppose or the pixels if you want to call them and they have a hole on the reverse and you just use the tweezers to apply them i'm sure it'll be just as easy as diamond painting you know and, and relaxing and fun to do but i'll be interested to see how it turns out because like this is it's a tiny this is the piece like that's what your piece is the size the finished piece is going to be any of you who diamond paint would know that you know a diamond painting that size is going to look terrible you know you're not going to see the image but um that's a, that's the finished piece what it's hopefully going to look like so i can't wait to start that and see how it turns out because if it turns out anything like that i'll be very very happy and i have a little frame and everything and plus it's not gigantic so it won't take years to do like uh, i mean i have some massive diamond paintings that i'm probably never going to finish in uh, in my lifetime <laughs> So I can't wait to play with that and have a go. And if I do complete it, I will share it in a video, hopefully. The next thing I have is uh, I got this little uh, kids mosaic making kit. And the reason I got this is it's part of my New Year uh, plan or resolution or whatever you want to call it. Because my theme for this year for myself is going to be to let go. Definitely. That's my phrase for the year is let go. 
because I can be very, very rigid and I can be extremely tough on myself. I don't allow myself to make mistakes or not get it right or, you know, like I, I berate myself. I'm really, really hard on myself. So I, I got this. I'm not, I'm not even into mosaic art. You know, it, it's not something that ever really appealed to me, but the colors definitely appeal to me. And I'll just show you quickly the inside. You see some of the... Um, some of the glass stones are like I think they're polymer clay and they're just fun colours. And it's just that and you get everything you need to make, you get your little coasters and everything. Just really nice and it looks really, really nice quality too. So it'll be an interesting exercise to see how I get on with this. See if I can just allow myself to play and have fun and uh switch off the inner tyrant even for 20 minutes, you know, <laughs> for a change. So let me show you the next couple of things I got because we're on the very same theme. I got some crayons and I got uh, some oil pastels and I got some really, really fun coloring books for myself. This has all been inspired by uh, Kelly Santi, who is Kelly Santi Designs here on YouTube. And um, I know Kelly doesn't watch my channel anymore, but I love her channel. She's just so inspiring because she she makes the most gorgeous, gorgeous crafts and the most beautiful, stunning cards. And then the next video, she'll have uh, crayons and she'll, she'll share uh, Hello Kitty images that she's colored. And she's just completely free. And I love that about her. And she inspires me every day. I've already uh, dug into these and I, I rearranged them by colour and I swatch them as well because uh, because I can and it's fun and I love to swatch. So I got those. The oil pastels were another exercise because uh, before I got into paper craft, I was into art. I, I did uh, soft pastel. I did portraiture work. I took commissions for uh, pet portraits and that was all very serious and I took it very, very seriously. I did pet portraits and pastel artwork for, for years. For many years, I, I exhibited and sold my artwork in a local art gallery and it was wonderful and I got to a fairly decent enough skill level over the years but I it was torture I drove myself insane you know I was brutal on myself and the irony of that is that I was the only one who wasn't happy I never had a disappointed client ever in all the portraits I did you know I, I never had an unhappy client you know <laughs> and then I, I got more into craft and especially as I got into paper craft, I, I just enjoyed it more because it was easier. You know, Not that the craft was easier. I was just easier on myself. I didn't give myself such a hard time. I still do give myself a hard time, but uh, just not quite as brutal on myself as I was when I was when I was doing pastel work. Anyway, I've digressed a little bit there, but um, but that's what these are about. I've purposely chosen things that I, I have no skill or experience with. I, I've dabbled with oil pastels before, but I always Soft pastels were always my, my go-to medium of choice. But I've just picked oil pastels and crayons and things that I am not going to give myself a hard time over because there's no expectation. We can just be free and play. And that's exactly where I've gone with the colouring books. I've chosen kids' colouring books specifically uh, to let myself off the hook because I, I, I can't... Um, I can't annihilate myself if the unicorn is not coloured accurately, you know, <laughs> then... There's no pressure. I can just let rip and <laughs> speaking of unicorns, look at her on the cloud. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So the next thing I got is uh, this gorgeous book here. And this is kind of on the same theme. I know this is, I guess, an adult uh, book, but it, I got it for the same reason. I, I've I've never got on particularly well with watercolor. I, I love the look of watercolor, especially watercolor and animal images like these. It's gorgeous. But I've never got on well when I've played with the medium because it's just it's too unpredictable for me. And uh, my inner tyrant doesn't like that at all. <laughs> you know? But what I love about this is that it's kind of a watercolor with me. The book is made, uh, the artist who is uh, Donna Fox, but the book is made on watercolor paper. And she starts off with the very simple basics. And she gives you a little sketch, an outline sketch and she gives you some tips and pointers so it's a kind of a it's a color with me thing without having to watch a video to, to color along it, and i love that because the the pressure's off i can just have fun it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like that the point is to just have fun and explore and uh, let go that's my theme so uh, i can't wait to to play with this and it's also nice that it's all in the same book so i can't turn it into a whole big 
intense drama either have to have this this way and that that way and have to have set up and it's all set up you already all you got to do is grab your watercolors pot of water and you're good to go you know so uh, gorgeous look at the gorgeous images so cute so can't wait to play with this this year so the next thing I, I got is a book and one of my other goals for this year is to get back into reading because I haven't read a book since I graduated college in June. Some of you know, I, I went to, to college two years ago as a mature student and I studied uh, animal care and it was wonderful, but I did enough reading to do me a lifetime. You know, I was put off for life. I used to be a voracious reader, but um, college was just very intense and, and constant reading and research. So I got away from it. But I thought this would be a wonderful reintroduction to reading because one of the modules on my course on the I did the the second year was a QQI level six in animal science. And one of the modules was humans, animals and society. And it was one of my favorite modules, apart from dog grooming. It was probably my favorite module. We did all kinds of stuff like we did animal ethics and animals and culture. But that module was very um it was wonderful. I loved it, but it was very, uh, very research based. You know, there was lots and lots and I mean, lots, tons of reading. But I can't wait to read this one. It was written. It's written by Tom Mustel. And uh, I, I've seen a lot of his work over the years. He's a, he's a wildlife filmmaker, but he had an experience a few years ago. He was filming humpback whales and one of the whales breached and landed on his kayak and landed on him and almost killed him. You know, he was seriously, seriously injured. So he's written this book, not just about that experience, but how that experience has affected him and, and what he's found in his own research in terms of our understanding of animals. So uh, I can't wait to read this one. This one is right up my street. I'm also obsessed with whales, especially killer whales. Just obsessed. We won't even go there because that's a whole other channel worth of videos right there. So we won't go there. So the last couple of things I have to share with you are are not from Amazon. I, I just bought them myself in the shops over Christmas. I got this puzzle here and this one is for all the Star Wars fans in the house. It's from The Mandalorian and I'm a massive Mandalorian fan. I cannot wait for season three. Bring it on, please. The sooner, the better. I can't wait to see it. But I love this. I used to do lots and lots of, of uh, jigsaws. I love doing them, but it's been years since I made one. And I had fun doing this one. It's a panoramic one as well, so it's really wide. I'm going to see if I can insert a picture of the finished puzzle uh, when I'm editing the video, because I did put this one together over Christmas when I was on the sofa and uh, and eating for my country. I think I actually ate for the continent, really, to be honest. Because, uh, I must have eaten my body weight in chocolate every day for about oh, almost two weeks. You know, it was crazy. <laughs> oh, Christmas madness. So that's the puzzle. And then I also, in a little local bookshop, I, I got this book, The Wellbeing Activity Book. I thought it was really, just really cute. Self-care activities through the seasons. And it's just season by season. Just little ideas and, and things to do. Uh, just fun. Forest bathing. Plan a day off. Yes, amen to that. Seasonal chef. Just kind of fun. A little activity book. Of course, I haven't started it yet. You know, I haven't started the New Year activities. And we're already halfway through January almost, Carmel. So, you know, but... Whatever you do, don't beat yourself up for it. And then in the same shop, I picked up this, uh, another fun colouring book, A Million Sea Creatures. This is just look at these. These are all underwater. Dolphins and whales. I mean, hello. It has my name all over. <laughs> look at the whole family of walruses. Walruses are one of my favourite animals on the planet. I love anything that has uh, book teeth for some reason. They're just so cute. I love beavers as well. We don't have beavers or walruses in Ireland, but uh, I love them. I love anything that's got teeth sticking out. I just think they're adorable. And bunnies, of course, but uh, just super, super cute. So have fun with that. I did get another needle felted related item. Uh, a friend of mine gifted me this book for Christmas and it's needle felted kittens. So it's gorgeous. I can't wait to make these. So I'm going to have mitten kittens and puppy dogs as well in needle felting. So fun. I have another uh, craft related Christmas gift. This is from my niece and um, it's a sewing book, folk embroidered felt birds. And I love this. It's by uh, Corinne Lapierre. She's a French artist and I love her work. I have a couple of her books already, but I don't have this one. And this is absolutely gorgeous. You get, she gives you lots of uh, instructions for the basic stitches, the embroidery stitches. And then she gets into the projects and these are absolutely beautiful. Look at the stitching. 
look at the stitching on this one there's a pink flamingo in here as well i'll just see if i can find it and show you there <laughs> look at that gorgeous so i can't wait to start making these and putting some of these together because they're super cute and you get all the patterns in the back and everything so it's you're ready to go so can't wait to play with that love that one there's one more craft related thing that i'll share with you uh, this is a gift from a friend of mine and she's a gardener and well she's not just a gardener but her background is in horticulture but she's a she's a phenomenal artist as well and she works with special needs kids and she teaches all of these kind of crafts but she made this herself from ivy and it's just it's it's just i think it's just exquisite it's the most dainty gorgeous thing i've ever seen isn't that gorgeous and she felted these these are needle felted as well that she did herself <laughs> they're little balls you know she didn't call them eggs but i call them eggs you know they're fantasy eggs but they're just adorable how gorgeous is that so that's my haul for today guys i hope you liked it thank you so much for watching and i'm really glad i made this video today because i didn't feel like making a video at all when i got up this morning i had to travel to dublin yesterday to attend a funeral um, my uncle passed away recently and it wasn't completely unexpected he was in his late 80s and his health had been in serious decline over the last few years he developed alzheimer's disease and he spent the last while living uh, full time in a nursing home because my aunt, who's also in her 80s, wasn't able to take care of him anymore. She'd nursed him for many, many years and uh, Hammy had to make the decision to put him into a nursing home. So it was difficult yesterday and as funerals are always are, it was also my old mommy passed away three years ago. And yesterday was for myself and my brothers, our first funeral to attend since my mommy's funeral and it was my fa a family funeral so it was all my cousins and extended family under the same circumstances so it was a uh, it was a tough one so when i got up this morning all i wanted to do was just give up you know stay on the sofa and just miss my mommy and i didn't do that i did for a little bit but i picked myself up because you know i think there's nothing like a funeral to remind you of how precious life is and how short our time is you know, and to remind you of all that you have to be grateful for you know we've so much to be grateful for i've so many blessings in my life still and more blessings to experience and more joy to experience and i'm so grateful even for my uncle because he was my my godfather you know they're they're my godparents so they were a huge part of my life growing up and it's okay to be sad when we lose people we love but we can't lose focus either and drown in it so i made a conscious choice this morning instead to choose gratitude and choose joy and choose to focus on all of the things that i'm grateful for and all of the things that bring me joy in my life and all the blessings that i already have in my life and right now i can't be with the people who bring joy to my life but i can be with craft right now <laughs> because uh, Craft most definitely brings me the most joy in my life and talking about craft and sharing craft with you guys also brings me joy. So that's what I did. That's why I made the video. So thanks so much, guys, for listening, each and every one of you for taking the time to watch my video and listen to me rambling on about animals and needle felting and funerals and all the rest of it i really do appreciate it and i hope you're all doing well out there i'll have another video coming very soon uh, with some more valentine's themed projects so uh, hopefully i'll have that up this weekend so we can keep an eye out for that one so take care out there guys and i will chat to you all in the next video bye bye for now chat to you soon